This world is truly screwed up, there's no denying that. War, violence, disease, famine, global warming, snakes, pineapple on pizza. But let's enter a hypothetical realm for a moment and say that we weren't the cause of all these problems, but instead a demon was. Many demons stir up trouble on earth for their own amusement, others so they can lure the sheep away from the herd, leading them down to the depths of the underworld and into Satan's arms. So today on Top 5 Scary Videos we're going to be listing off the top 5 scary demons from mythology. Before we begin though, be sure to stick around until the end of the video where I'll be responding to a few of your comments. Let's jump in. In at 5, Abizu. From Jewish mythology we have Abizu, also known as Obizu, Obuza. Obizauth and Bizo. This demon is infertile and, well, pretty pissed off about that. Her sole purpose is to seek out pregnant women, possess them, causing miscarriages and stillbirths, purely out of bitterness and jealousy due to not being able to bear a child. She's quite the asshole. Even worse, she's described as having scale and snake like qualities. No, thank you. In at four, Vapula. In Christianity, Vapula is the Duke of Hell and a high commander of various legions of demons. He is an incredibly intelligent demon and well versed in philosophy, so if you find yourself suddenly struck with unexplainable knowledge, you may just be possessed by this little devil. His favourite pastime is paranoia, that's right, he will turn loved ones against loved ones in order to watch humanity burn around him and draw the sinful into the depths of the underworld. In at 3, Jikiniki. This demon appears in Japanese Buddhist mythology and is known as Jikiniki. It comes from the spirits of those who are, I quote, greedy, selfish and ungodly. Jikiniki are caused to spend eternity feeding on the flesh of human corpses. Sounds fun. Now, the thing that makes these creatures truly terrifying is that they are just downright miserable and will stop at nothing to take innocent people down with them. In order to do that, they make a person's life a complete and utter living hell so that they don't have to suffer alone. It's kind of sad when you think about it. In at two, Pazuzu. Pazuzu appears in ancient Babylonian and Assyrian mythology and is described as the beast. He is the king of the wind demons and the bringer of storms, droughts, and famine. Now, many Many of you may recognise his name. Yep, that's right, this dude possessed poor Linda Blair in The Exorcist after she summoned him via a Ouija board. Bad girl. Not only is he known to bring famine upon unfortunate souls, but he's also the bringer of disease and pestilence. Yep, this dude is just bad news, plain and simple. However, he does have one upside, which leads us into our next number. In at number one, Lamashtu. Sumerian and Mesopotamian mythology describes a demoness named Lamashtu. She is a demon who torments women throughout their pregnancies, and when they give birth, steals the babies so she can chew their bones and drink their blood. Not only does she kill babies, but she is also the destroyer of crops and has a passion for contaminating water and wreaking havoc whenever possible. Full warning, don't summon this demoness. Those possessed by this entity will suffer horrific nightmares and sleep disturbances and may develop a grave illness that will ultimately kill you. Now her appearance is what makes this demon truly terrifying. She is depicted as having a hairy body, the head of a lioness, donkey teeth and ears, and bird feet, complete with talons. Lovely. It's even stated that this demon is so terrifying that pregnant women will often summon our previous number in hopes of protection. Not that he does that, he just hates Lamash 2 so much that he would likely distract her from destroying you. Well, there we have it. Did these demons scare you? Were there any that we missed? Leave us all your thoughts and feelings in the comments down below and perhaps we can do a part two. Before I go though, I just want to respond to a few comments from one of our last videos. Dan Klaus said, Lucy is like a foul mouthed Thelma. She's awesome. May I get a shout out please? You certainly can, and thank you. A lot of you have compared me to Thelma from Scooby Doo, thanks to one particular sweater I own. You know the one. I would also accept the compliment based on intelligence, but I understand if you don't want to do that. Freeland256 said, Hey Lucy, you do a lot of really creepy videos. Was wondering what scares you the most. Thanks, keep them coming. Well, where to begin really? What scares me? Everything scares me. Space, the ocean, essentially anything so vast my mind can't comprehend it. Whales, black holes, spiders, snakes, confined spaces, open spaces is flying. You name it, I'm probably a little afraid of it. Essentially, you should lock me up in some sort of padded room. And lastly, Snaggletooth75 said, Top 5 scary videos. I've been a subscriber to your YouTube channel for about a year now. I really enjoy watching your videos. I have two chronic lower back pain conditions, lumbar spinal stenosis and degenerative disc disease, and osteoarthritis in both my knees and in my hips. I can't sleep most nights because of my chronic pain, so I binge watch your videos. Binge watching your videos helps me get through the sleepless nights and helps me forget about my pain. Thank you for making your videos, I really appreciate it. Well, 
that's a lovely comment. I'm so sorry that you're going through such a hard time, but I'm glad our channel is helping alleviate some of that discomfort. Thank you for being a fan and all of us over here hope things begin to look up for you soon. If you haven't already, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss another scary vid. And until next time, see you later.